In our previous video, the method introduced is more applicable when you have a relatively small paving area, which means each paver will be put in place one by one. But in a more practical manner, we need to have some paving modules first. So here I've made three modules already. So let's get started. First we can get the outline of the module by adding a rectangle. Go ahead and reference it in Grasshopper. Reference the layout origin. Use the node Rotate Plane to adjust the paving orientation. Now we can use the node call Deconstruct Domain to get the dimensions and array our module outlines like we did in the last video. Again, use Collision One Many to get rid of the unwanted rectangles. Using the node List Length, we know 138 rectangles are selected. Now comes the important step. I'm going to label our three paving modules as 0, 1, and 2. Then we'll map these three paving modules to our selected rectangles randomly. To do that, we need to create a set of numbers, or what they call string, in coding. We're going to use the node series to type in 0, 1, and 2. Then we need to duplicate these three numbers to match the three number of selected rectangles. We already know there are 138 rectangles. It can be divided by three. So we're just going to plug this result into the number slot in the node, duplicate. Now we have an equal amount of the numbers 0, 1, 2 to our selected rectangles. We can also use the node jitter to add up more randomization. Then we'll use the node member index to find the list index of the string 0, 1, 2, respectively, in the duplicate list. Now we can use the node list item to pass the index onto the selected rectangles, and that's how we separate them into three groups.
then we can go ahead and reference our pre-made modules and then map these three modules to the three rectangle groups using the node called Rectangle Mapping. Also use the node Bounding Rectangle to get the source rectangle boundary. Then we need to join all the mapped meshes and trim them. Here we're going to use another grasshopper add-on called Weaverbird. We'll use its Mesh Thicken node. This is just for splitting the meshes, because we have to give meshes a thickness in order to perform Boolean operation. Finally use Mesh Split to trim the meshes outside the paving area. Now we have our final result. Finally, if you want you can package all these nodes into one cluster like we did in the last video.